Hi, and welcome to this training video where we will be discussing providers, EDAs, otherwise known as Enter Data As, and visibility within the system. In Service Point, we use the term provider. This is a technical term used to organize data into groups for data entry and reporting. There's two different types of providers. There's a home provider and there's a project provider. A home provider is where your account sits in the system. That's where your account admin or supervisor has determined is the program you might use the most, or it's the program that you need to have in general when you log into the system. Every user will have a home provider. A project provider is intended for data entry that typically represents a specific project or grant that your agency receives, and not everyone will have a project provider. If you're an administrator, it is likely that your home provider is the agency itself, which means that in order to do any data entry, you will need to change your EDA to the specific provider you need to do data entry for. On the top left side of your service point, you will see a provider listed. This is your home provider. That is the provider you are entering data as when you log in. Your project providers, if any, are found by clicking on enter data as on the right side of your home screen. Uh, and you can use this option to change the provider you're entering data as. When changing your enter data as, choose the appropriate provider by clicking on the green plus sign. If you don't have any extra providers listed in this box, it means that you only have access to your home provider within the system. So you don't have to change your enter data as. You're always in the system as that specific provider. However, if you do have more choices, that's when you want to make sure you're being diligent about adding or correcting data under the correct project provider. To remove or change your EDA, click on the provider in blue font and it will go back to the default provider, which is your home provider. When we talk about providers, it's kind of helpful to think about them as a costume or a lens that you put on when, while navigating through the system. Um, it's like a hat in the way that when you enter data as a provider, it means that everything you enter has that provider's name attached to it. So you're wearing that hat in the system. When reports are pulled under a specific provider, everything that has been under, entered under that provider will come through. So we really want to make sure we're entering data under the correct provider so that we have the most ac accurate information. It's also like glasses in a way that you can only see what is visible to that provider. You will always have historical data from the provider that you can see and have access to for any given client or household. But if there is no release of information, you won't be able to see other providers. In this example, you have a rapid rehousing program, a homeless prevention program, an emergency shelter program, and a food pantry program. Those are each individual hats within the system. If you have access to all four, you need to change your enter data as to whatever program you're doing enter data entry for. Then each release of information that's entered for the provider or not allows for visibility across the system. So if the rapid rehousing provider wants to be able to see anything in those other providers, those providers ha must have a release of information so that the rapid re rehousing provider can see it. If your shelter did not get an ROI from the client or the ROI dates do not match up, that rapid rehousing provider will never be able to see that client level data across the system. That concludes this training video. Thank you for watching.